I have a special program. The essence of this program is because of what we are doing at hand. And this program says a cup of water blessing. When I say a cup of water blessing, I mean what Jesus said in the Bible. You know, most of times uh, we don't know the blessing that is accorded to some certain words that came out of the mouth of Jesus until we are taught in the word so that we can be able to understand the mystery of the world. Because the word of God is mysterious. We need to really understand uh, what God is saying. Now, I want to read the Bible for you from the book of Matthew chapter 10. I want to start the reading from verse number 40. And this reading, I want to read, I want you to pay attention because there is something that is here which God is definitely going to give to you. And when God gives you these blessings, everybody that knows you will know that God has really blessed you in the name of Jesus. From verse 40, it says, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. Jesus is talking to his disciples, talking to his servants, talking to his prophets, talking to the people he has sent on Aaron to do the work of God. He said, he that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Verse 42. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Praise the Lord. He that giveth a cup of water to this disciple, to this prophet, to these pastors, to these teachers, to these people that are propagating the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, shall receive the reward of the prophet. In other words, the scripture is making it clear to me based on what is written in the Bible because what is here and what is very clear here is that God has a proposal. And what is this proposal? God has mandated something great that he has prepared for those that will accept the servant of God or the prophet of God in the name of a prophet or in the name of a servant of God or in the name that this is a man of God. Anybody that receives a man of God will definitely receive what is called the man of God's reward. There is a reward in the realm of the spirit that is waiting for as many that will receive every word that come out of the prophet. The prophet or the man of God is the servant of God that God has made to use and be a blessing to the nations of the world. It is quite unfortunate that a lot of people don't recognize what it means to be a prophet. Some people look at the prophet as a, oh, just a preacher of the gospel. A prophet is the mouthpiece of Jehovah. A prophet is the one that God has given the key to open and close. God has given a master key and whatever the prophet says, God has spoken and that is the final word. Nobody can utter the word of God. As God has called me and has mandated me to do this work I am doing. I am doing it in the name of the Lord God Almighty and as many that believe in my ministry, definitely God is going to bless them beyond their imagination. The message and essence of this message is because of what is going to happen here on Sunday. This program has started since Monday. It's a seven days program. And this seven days program I've started since a Monday. I have been preaching the gospel and I've been taking the gospel to another level. And by the grace of God, we have come to a point now that we have tomorrow and the Friday night. And then we enter into the Sunday, which is the celebration. I am going to be celebrating my birthday on the 13th of this month, being on Friday. Being, uh, being on Sunday, I mean, on the 13th of this March. 13th of March being uh, 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 on Sunday. This celebration is called the Prophet Day. We have started a program with what is called Exodus 2022. And we have been marching into our promised land, possessing our position, taking what belongs to us, 
receiving the blessing that God has prepared for us spiritually. And the reason why the prayer and the matching and all the blessing that is accorded to it is because the birth of a prophet is also a gift to the world and a gift to nations. As God brought me to the world, he brought me to make sure that I be a blessing, if not for any other person, for you that is paying attention and hearing the sound of my voice. Impossibility must not remain in your life. Difficulty must not remain in your life. Nothing shall be impossible in your life. If there's a sickness in your life, as I'm speaking, as a prophet of God, I speak that sickness out of your body. If there's any failure on your way, as I'm ministering as a prophet, I command that failure to disappear out of your life. If there's anything that's been hindering you, blocking your way, causing you obstacle, causing you setback, I release the power of God to take that in away from you. And the light of God must definitely shine in your life. And no power, no Jupiter, no demon, no devil can stop what God has proposed for you. No spirit can stop that which God has mandated that should be given to you. And so based on that, I am also saying that as the word of God is coming forth to you, every one of you, if you know you are my sons and my daughters, you have been following me, you love the prophetic, you love what God is doing, you love the grace of God upon my life, you love the anointing, you desire the impartation, you desire this kind of blessing, you want God to also do a miracle one thing or the other, don't fail to partake in the cup of water prayer. This cup of water prayer is a declaration I am making for all the people that are partaking in making this my that day that is coming is celebration one one that is everybody will rejoice so the curtain will be open for you and every one of you that want to participate in cup of water to the prophet you will see the account of the church you will use it to give a cup of water to the prophet and this program will be rounded up on sunday by that sunday we are going to take it to the extreme the account number is always available here for you to use it and participate and be part of the cup of water blessing. How is this blessing going to go? According to the book of Matthew, he said, He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones, a cup of cold water. That cup of cold water can be anything that God has laid your heart to be part of my celebration. As this birthday is coming, every blessing you are praying for, for it to be born, this birthday will give the manifestation of that your blessing. And whether the devil like it or not, you will surely testify to the glory of God. This is why I said, let me come this evening and minister it to you because we have program lined up but I say no, I must intimate you so that you will not say, oh, I didn't hear, I'm not aware. Key to it, there's no program I throw on air that people join that they don't come back to testify. I'm not uh, ordinary people you see on the way or people you just meet online. I'm a special prophet of God with the proven prophecies all over the world, telling the whole world what will happen and what will happen and they're all happening. So we will all meet on Sunday, and uh, everything that God had tested for us will surely enter into our hands in Jesus' name. <laughs>
Let's go, let's go.